Understanding Lay Time Calculations in Shipping Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to unravel the mystery behind lay time calculations in the shipping industry. This concept might sound complex, but it's crucial for anyone involved in maritime trade. By the end of this video, you'll understand what lay time is, why it's important, and how it's calculated. So, let's dive in and make lay time calculations as easy as pie. Lay time refers to the specified period agreed upon between the ship owner and the charterer for loading and unloading cargo without incurring additional charges. It is a fundamental term in shipping contracts or charters. If the cargo operations exceed this period, the charterer pays demurrage, if less, they might earn dispatch. Understanding lay time is crucial because it directly impacts the cost of shipping and the efficiency of port operations. There are several types of lay time, each affecting how calculations are performed. Straight lay time. This is when lay time is calculated on a continuous basis, including weekends and holidays, unless otherwise specified. Weather working days. Lay time is counted only on days when weather conditions allow for loading or unloading operations. Working days. Only official working days are counted, excluding weekends and holidays. Reversible lay time. This allows the charterer to combine the time allocated for loading and unloading, using it more flexibly. Understanding these types helps in accurate lay time calculations and in drafting fair contracts. Calculating lay time starts with identifying the commencement of lay time, which is typically after the ship has arrived at the port and is ready to load or unload. The calculation involves 1. Notice of readiness, nor, the captain must declare the ship is ready to load or unload. 2. Lay time commencement. Lay time begins after a specified period post, nor, allowing the charterer time to prepare. 3. Actual loading or unloading time. The time taken for cargo operations is then recorded. 4. Demurrage or dispatch. If operations exceed late time, demurrage is charged. If less, dispatch may be paid. Accurate calculations require meticulous record keeping and understanding of the contract terms. Late time calculations have significant financial implications for both ship owners and charterers. Efficient cargo handling and quick turnaround times can save costs and increase profitability. Conversely, delays can lead to demurrage charges, escalating the cost of shipping. Understanding and negotiating favorable lay time terms is crucial in minimizing risks and costs. We hope this explanation sheds light on the importance and process of lay time calculations in the shipping industry. Remember, every minute counts when a ship is at port, affecting not just costs but the efficiency of global trade. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the fascinating world of English language and industry-specific terms. Stay curious, and see you in the next video.